Hi, it's Stu from Abacus Motorhomes. Thank you for choosing us for your motorhome hire. Uh, before you set off, there's a couple of operating instructions we want to run through with you, so let's get started. Thank you for hiring Abacus Motorhomes. Uh, we'd like to run through a few things with you just to make your experience a lot more enjoyable before you collect. We'll start off with explaining the use of the keys. Now, you will have two keys with this vehicle. You have your main key, which has a flip out. That is your ignition key. It's also used for removing the diesel cover for when you refill. The secondary key, that is for any additional lockers or toilet cassette holders or rear garage areas. You have a remote buttons on the fob as well. If your vehicle requires you to use these for the cab and for the habitation, please do so. Don't be tempted to use the smaller key as sometimes this can fail and break the locks. All Abacus motorhomes are diesel, so you will need to refill the tanks upon your return. Uh, some models do have the additional AdBlue tank. Um, just be aware they generally have a range of about 1200 miles. So if you are doing more than that for your trip, you may need to refill it while you're on your journey. In the cab, you will find your handbrake is on the right hand side of the driver's seat. Your seat is also adjustable. You have the side flaps where you can adjust the height of the seat, but also the bar at the front where you can adjust the distance to the steering wheel. On the right hand side, you have your wipers. And on the left hand side, you have your lights and indicators. In the center console, you will find your sat nav and radio. You've also got your hazard lights in the middle. And this model is a manual transmission. To operate the controls on this model, simply press the button in the middle, that will switch the power on. From here, we can see this LED will indicate that we have a successful 240 volt hookup connection. If you want to use your master lights, hit the button here, then we can use all the switches inside the vehicle. Warning light, situated at the top there. To activate your water pump, if you want to use the taps to shower or flush the toilet, press the tap button there and press again to switch off. To check all of your levels, simply press the level checker button. And it will show us here fresh water, wastewater, leisure battery voltage and vehicle battery voltage. Your hot water and heating control panel, you can set the hot water, the heating and you can also select the power source with which you want these items to run from. To do so, press the decoder in the middle and these symbols will start to flash. The first one here is your heating level, so press and then you can use the decoder to set the heating level. Once you select the temperature, press to confirm. Click to the right, this will then set the hot water. So press, you then have the choice of eco, hot or boost. We generally recommend the eco setting at around 40 degrees and press to confirm. And lastly, select your power source, press and you have a choice of gas if you are on no electrical hookup, mix one or mix two, which will combine electricity with gas, or electric one and two, which is electric on its own without the use of gas. Electric one or mix one is one kilowatt, electric two or mix two is two kilowatts. And then press to confirm, and then back to the main screen. Using the cooker, it's a very basic function, but there's a couple of safety points to be aware of. If you have a glass top, be sure to lift it before you use the hobs. Okay. When you have finished using the cooking on the hobs, let them cool off before you replace the glass as they can get very hot and you obviously don't want that to crack or break. Grill and oven positioned down below. You'll have your ignition point on here. And then all you've got to do is open the door, switch it to the section that you want and press the button to ignite. And then again, just remembering to close that off when you're finished with it. The fridge in this model is a Dometic automatic system model, which means that once set to the auto function, it will look after itself. If you plug it into a mains on a campsite, it will run off a 230 volt. If you don't have it plugged in, it will run on the gas. And any time when the engine is running, it will run on the battery. Uh, and as I say, as it's auto function, it will select the power source by itself. The vehicle comes with a TV which has a built-in DVD player. If you wish to use either of these functions, you can simply do this by using the remote. 
You have the source button at the top, so you can choose between TV or the DVD function. If you're watching TV and you need to tune it, simply go to the TV menu, tab down once you get to the satellite symbol and press to confirm, and then just select auto tune and that will automatically tune all the TV channels in that region. So before using the toilet, you will need to remember to pull the grey lever to the right. That will open up the cassette. Then you can use the toilet, the blue button to flush after you've finished, and then remember, always set the grey handle back to the left, ready for the next use. Now to operate the windows and blinds, take a little bit of care with these because they can be delicate, but normally fly screens are at the top and they just pull down, privacy blinds at the bottom and they just pull up. To operate the windows, lift all the catches up, push the window out to get to the level that you want it, and then lock it in, and like so. Before you set off, always make a mental note to close all your windows. Don't leave them on the ventilation setting, make sure they are always on a full lock to avoid any loss or damages. In the storage area of the vehicle, we've supplied you with a mains cable for 230 volt connection, hose for refilling your water supply, kit bags for breakdowns. You've got high-vis jackets, warning triangles, breathalyzers, leveling blocks, dustpan and brush, broom, awning handle, and also the tablets for your toilet. Connecting to 230 volt power supply on a campsite, we have supplied you with the cable. Most important rule of thumb is, make sure that the lid always goes in first. Press the rest in, make sure it's secure, and close the flap down. To remove the cable, sharp pull, and replace. To refill your water tank, you'll simply need to lift up the flap, unscrew the cover, take your hose from the back, unwind it completely, connect it up to the nearest tap on site, and then drop the nozzle in to refill it. Once the water starts coming back out of the tank, then you know it is full. At that point, obviously remove the nozzle, replace the cap, and return your hose back to the vehicle. To empty the gray waste on this model, simply reach underneath, remove the cover, hold the pipe steady with one hand, and then half a turn back to the left, to drain the water out. Once it's empty, close it back up again and replace the cap. Right, so to empty the toilet on this model, open the door and then lift the handle to remove from there and then you should just be able to slide the box out. If you've left it open on the inside, you will not get the box out. Once you've done that, press the orange button down to release any trapped air, any gas or pressure that might have built up inside the box. At that point, then you can take the spout around, take the cover off and tip out the contents. Once you've done that, place a blue tablet back down the neck, add a couple of jugs of water, replace the cap, close it and return the box inside. So to refill the gas on this model, open the door. You've got two gas bottles are inside of there. They're fully regulated, so to refill them, all you'll need to do is remove the cover, take the gun from the LPG pump and place it over the top of the bayonet fixing. It then has a locking mechanism which will hold the gun into place. Once it's connected safely, all you do is hold the button down on the pump. That will refill both cylinders at the same time. Once it stops, it's finished. Release the gun and replace the cap like so.
hope you've enjoyed the videos and the tutorials and found them useful in preparation for your hire. Uh, we look forward to seeing you. If you have any further questions or you need any assistance from us, please don't hesitate to contact us on the main number or head over to our website or drop us an email. Feel free to share with us all your experience with Abacus Motorhomes uh, through our social media pages on Facebook or Instagram uh, or head over to our website to leave any further feedback. We look forward to hearing from you.